What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And you guys have been asking me to do a player of the week review. And I was going to leave it, but then I remembered. I just do all the reviews, lads. You know where to get it. And we are going to be diving right into this. I'll keep it short and sweet because there isn't much to really talk about apart from the big couple of names that you see here. You've got Haaland, you've got Son, you've got Deki Royce, and of course you have got Kubo and Danilo. So the rest of the players that you have here, apart from Ferguson, I would have loved to get Ferguson, but unfortunately we didn't get him. The rest of the players here, they have a distinct disadvantage because you can't add player skills, you can't do legacy transfer with them. You can't really do much with them. So I think that they've taken a lot now with the player proficiency. They've taken a lot away with these goalkeepers, right? They have changed a couple of bits and pieces, but straight away, you always get a goalkeeper. He's a bit of a write-off. I would say that this guy as well, even though he's got insane speed and acceleration and balance and dribbling is very high. As a whole player left midfielder, he's a dime a dozen. There's players like this, a dime a dozen. Um, he is from Cadiz as well. He's got some brilliant player skills. Uh, but they're not able to learn additional skills. As I said, he's got standard form, even though he's on A rating. I think if you're going to be spinning, you're not going to be spinning with this guy in view, uh, you know, in mind of getting, unless you are a Cadiz fan. Um, and then you also have Singo, who's a centre back. Again, speed, acceleration, very good for a destroyer centre back. He plays for Monaco. He's got blocker. He's got aerial superiority. He doesn't have interception, which seems to be a key player skill going forward now, especially that it's actually tied to the AI now. And they've spoken about that. So for me, he's a bit of a miss as well because of his low aggression as a destroyer. It's just too low. It's just not good enough, right? But the rest of the cards, obviously, you've got Luis Alberto. He's been a favorite of uh, kind of like attack and midfielder options. This guy is an absolute insane beast. If you are new to the game, these players are very, very popular and very, very strong. You know, low, slow, um, but very, very good at passing. You know, 96 low pass, 91 lofted, 93 ball control, 70 acceleration and 66 speed. With the way the game plays at the moment, you are going to have to rely on his player skills, right? Double touch, Marseille turn, soul control, beautiful. One touch pass, true passing and first time shot, beautiful as well. He also only has um, 79 finishing if you are playing him as an attack midfielder. If you've been playing the game for longer than a week, which a lot of you probably have, I would say that you would probably already have a better attacking midfielder than this guy that's a whole player. Although I will say Orchestrator has come very strong in this last uh, update, right? We also have a left back here. You're just your traditional left back. Huge stamina, but to be honest with you, it's overkill. Although I do like full backs that can play multiple positions like center back or center midfield, defensive midfield and attacking midfield. It's very unusual hybrid type of player. Um, and this is what player of the week should really be. They should be kind of unique. I do like the fact that he has area superiority as well as one touch pass, way to pass, pinpoint crossing and blocker and man marking. And he also has good low pass and lofted pass with a good engine on him. But defensively, you're not going to be really putting him in your meta team, right? If you're starting off, any of these players would be beastly for you. Um, But it's kind of like taking it on. Now, I would have loved to get Ferguson, lads. I genuinely would have loved to get him. We might still spin for him on our road to glory account, the one that we're looking at here. He does have first time shot, which you do need. He also does have dipping shot and long range curler. Haaland has long range curler as well. We'll get to him in a second. I really wanted Ferguson, lads. Deep line forward, he comes close for the ball like Harry Kane, comes out into kind of an attacking midfielder position unless you go put counter target on him. I do feel that he would have been really strong and kind of like a good replacement for Collar on my road to glory. We'll see if we do get him. 91 finishing is astonishing and he also has 77 acceleration, but that all-important attack and awareness is 88. 70 balance, the minute I get the ball with his feet, I'm shooting and it is cool to see that he has got his face. No, he doesn't. He needs a face, lads. He needs a face, genuinely. Um, but his card is quite cool if you look at it there uh, and definitely one to watch in the future. So that kind of brings us on to the main guys here. Right? I'm trying to go through quick, but I don't want to leave anybody out. Kubo down is a prolific winger. Blister and pace, brilliant dribbling, brilliant balance. Kind of an all-rounder. I would definitely play him as a right winger, cutting in and shooting. You know what you're getting with him. If you've played with Salah, if you've played with Messi, if you've played with any of those, these kind of players are really, really strong at shooting. He does have some excellent player skills as well with one-touch pass, double touch, soul control. He doesn't have flip-flap, but he does have long-range curler and true passing, so you can kind of mix and match how you play and how you assist um, between that. Sun and Declan Rice, I'll throw them in together, right? Sun, for me, has been very, very nerfed since the last update, like since the eFootball 24 update. His um, Asian Stars pack that was released a couple of weeks ago was extremely OP. I don't think this pack is as good. This card is as good. Um, I have played with him. I don't think that it's good. I also don't think that the Haaland in this is good or the Declan Rice as is, 
is as good as others that have been released. If you have previous cards of Declan Rice, especially Anchorman one, which I have, it's it's just far superior. This one is quite decent if you are going to be playing him as a center or as a DMF or a center midfielder as a destroyer. You can have him as a double pivot with a DMF sitting, and he is very very good on the ball. Low pass is ex- is is, ex- is extremely good. Um, his defensive capabilities are good as well. He does have some good player skills with one touch pass and of course interception. He doesn't have blocker. You can add blocker to him. So I do feel that this card is a bit of a letdown. Um, and then also we do have Haaland. Listen, 97 overall Haaland. The one thing letting down Haaland lets still in this game is his lack of balance. Even Ferguson has 70 balance off the rip, um, which is far superior. And Haaland's finishing of 96 with 90 speed is kind of taken away from there because of his lack of attack and awareness that's over 90 it's only 87 he can't dribble with the ball his balance is terrible as well even though he does have 91 physical contact and 73 jumping now the one thing i would say about Haaland is he's probably the best super sub in the game and that actually saves this card but they definitely need to relook at this card and how he handles maybe they have to make Haaland like a unique build um, similar to how Romario is, you know, that he just handles different, he moves different on the pitch, and the stats don't tell the full story, but I still think Haaland is a kind of a required skill set, skill set to play with, you're giving up a lot in your build-up if you have Haaland up there, right, so that if you are a newcomer and you're looking to spin for here, we've left the best to last, which is Danilo, now I want to actually take a look here at the nominating contracts, because Danilo is actually in this as well, um, as the new captains right here, and he's down as a right back in this one, but it's actually a better card. So if you do have a free five-star nominating contract and you're looking to get Danilo, I would say that that version of that player is better there. This centre-back version here that you have, yes, it's a very, very good card. Um, He's down as a centre-back. He's down, you know, it's a very, very good card, right? We know that he's a good card. One of the best player of the weeks that they've ever released was back with the Danilo player of the week version. This card isn't at that level, but he does have everything you could possibly want as a center back. He's down as an extra front man as well. He's got speeding bullet as a play style, so he's rapid off the ball. Knuckle shot, first time shot, pinpoint crossing, um, blocker interception, slide and tackle. He doesn't have acrobatic clearance, heading or aerial ability, um, but fighting spirit is huge as well. Fighting spirit is a, is, is a video I'm going to really do and show you exactly how it works excellent tackling but i still feel if you do have that 15 game uh, nominating contract i would say get him and save your spins you could get lucky i mean we spun in our other account and we spun and we got halland we got declan rice we didn't get ferguson and we got kubo as well so we kind of got the best three guys that you could have got but if you are a newcomer any of these players are going to be a big upgrade if you download the game literally 10 minutes ago or an hour ago or a day ago or a week ago um when the game first launched you will probably have these guys as you know beasts they will be better than pretty much any of your squad but there are really good gp alternatives if you are looking to save your coins i would probably do so um again you know declan rice is probably kind of an end game type player but there's very good players that can be out there and it's it's hard to really suggest you actually go heavy for them you know because there are better versions of the cards probably going to come so let me know what you guys think that is just a really quick player of the week i will talk to you later peace don't forget to subscribe